Well, today we're going to give this little easy go golf cart, a tired easy go golf cart, a kick in the pants. We're putting a lithium battery in it from Lee Time, brand new lithium battery, 36 volt lithium battery in this uh, golf cart. And I'm going to talk to you about, first show you how easy it is. The, the, the transplant was just flawless. Everything went well. Easy to do. The batteries are heavy, but it's easy to do. And then show you the performance differences. The weight differences between the two uh, is just enormous. And just give you an idea also of the cost. And then just tell you what this has done to my little golf cart. It has made it a rocket. But this is really good info that you need to know. If you're thinking about swapping out, if you're thinking about going lithium, and you should be, uh, this, this video is for you. It's really cool, good info, and I think you're going to like it. Stick around. So first of all, look at how clean this is. The battery compartment is just is just really, really clean, uh, not cluttered with six big old batteries, heavy batteries that just weighted this cart down. Lee Time sent me this battery uh, to review for you, sent me the charger also, and I uh, just want to just wanna say it, it has exceeded my expectations. I've been wanting to go lithium for a while. I put new batteries on this about two years ago, and at the time I was wanting to go lithium and it got talked out of it, and I, I just wish I'd have done it then because it has made such a difference in this golf cart. This is for a 36 volt cart, and it's 100 amp hours. It will run for a long, long time. I'll show you the install, but I just want to tell you how satisfied and how tickled I am to have this lead time battery for my little 36 volt easy go golf cart. It will scat now. I mean, it'll set you back in the seat. I'm not saying it's scary fast, but it, it's impressive. Let's just put it that way. So let's look at the installation and then we'll come back. We're replacing these six volt batteries, six six volt batteries on my golf cart. I've got it charged fully. It's 38 volts. We're gonna start taking this out. I don't think it's gonna be a hard process. Heavy, but not hard. And uh, so we're gonna get it done. I'm taking some photos to make sure I know exactly what I'm doing as far as hooking the new battery back up. Should be extremely simple uh, with the exception of the charger because they sent me a charger also. Uh, I will be taking the charge port out later, maybe not right now, but later and uh, using the uh, lithium charger for this new lithium battery. I'm excited about this. The weight of these batteries here are about 60, 70 pounds a piece. There's six of them. And the weight of this lead time uh, is probably 30, 40 pounds, something like that. Uh, you know, not light, but not heavy at all. I'm probably gonna have to do some cutting and welding of the, the, the uh, battery tray. Uh, so, you know, it's gonna be a little bit of a process, but the changing of the battery itself out, it should be nothing. Uh, it's just a matter of how much, how, what kind of detail I want to go into as far as remaking the battery tray. Because it's so tight to get in there with your hands, you you could lift these out with your with your bare hands, but I bought a set of these straps battery lift straps and that's going to make it so much better because again they're not light so because this is just one battery going to sit in here it doesn't need this uh, separator right here so i'm going to have to cut that out i'm probably going to come in here and, and take some of the rust off uh, put some Osfo on it, which stops rust, repaint it, make everything look nice, but also uh, try to arrest that rust. So here it is installed. Again, extremely light. You know, I didn't weigh it. I was going to weigh it, and I didn't. It's probably 37 to 40 pounds, something like that. Uh, and, and it's just got so much pickup. I mean, this thing will jump now. Uh, I, I, what I decided to do was uh, I had a, a piece of three quarter inch uh, marine grade uh, womanized or treated plywood. And I just decided to, I took the center part of that tray out uh, that uh, where that uh, little piece was in the middle. I took that out where I've just got that square box, set this uh, plywood down and, and uh, set this thing down in here. Now the, the lead time does not come with uh, uh, the, any feet on it. In other words, where you can screw it down to something. So what I did was I took some uh, little brackets right there, those those corner brackets, and I just put one there, one there, 
and uh, and that's holding it. The rest of the, the battery sits against the uh, battery case or the battery tray uh, on this side and that side. So all I needed was something to keep it from moving this way and this way. And those those little angle uh, brackets work just great. And then I also needed something to keep it from jumping up and down. So I, I put a little ratchet strap on it, tied it down, and cinched it down a little bit. Haven't uh, uh, permanently located the charger yet. The charger will get bolted down about right there. And then I've got a DC to DC uh, step down converter so I can I can take my, from 36 down to 12 volts so I can run my lights and things like that. That's gonna happen in, in very near future, but it just, man, I just had to show you this. The lead time, uh, 38 volt, 38.4 volt, 100 amp hour battery for a 36 volt golf cart. They make a 48 for a 48 volt uh, cart. They use these in uh, solar systems, in home uh, power systems. They've got great ratings, like I said before, uh, on Amazon and such. And just, uh, just I tell you what, it's, it, I'm not gonna say it scared me, but it sure startled me when I pushed down on the accelerator the first time. It jumped. And this, this old cart has never jumped like that. I think this is a 98, you know, not in bad shape for, for what it is. Dirty as heck. And the batteries weren't all that old. Like I say, the batteries weren't but a couple of years old. But I just, I got tired of worrying about, do I have water in them? I got tired of charging them because they just seemed like they needed charging all the time. And I just would run down so quick. I don't play golf. I just run around the farm. And I just thought it should last much longer. I, <laughs> this is funny. I charged this up. It said 40.1 volt, volts when it was fully charged. And I've driven it all up and down the farm. I had to show some people around to, uh, to assess some storm damage. And so I charged it up. It said 40.1 volts. And now it says 40.4. <laughs> I don't know. It's recharging itself somehow. Uh, you know, so I'm, this thing will last so very long. And maintenance free, that's the main thing. I just, I wanted something that would give me some spunk. I wanted lithium because I just like lithium. I'm tired of lead acid. Uh, when you can get away from lead acid, you need to. And, uh, and, and so this was, this is the perfect fit. Lee time, uh, makes some good products. This one, it runs like a scalded dog. And I tell you what, I am loving this thing. They sent me this for review. And, uh, so this is my review of it, but it is a great, great little battery. If you got a 36 volt golf cart, they make a 48 too. So, uh, so look at that. If that's what you have is a 48, but if you want to step up to lithium, get the lipo four, uh, lithium battery from Lee time, really, really good company, uh, inexpensive as far as, uh, lithium batteries go. Doesn't have all the fancy bells and whistles and switches and uh, meters and all that stuff on it. It's just a battery, but that's all you need is a battery. You can put a meter on it later, or you may already have a meter on it. Now, you, if you've got a battery charger that is for lead acid, you are going to need a lithium battery charger. You, you can't charge, you shouldn't charge lithium with a, a, a charger meant for lead acid. So keep that in mind that you're gonna to have to get a charger also. But uh, extremely happy with this Lee Time uh, battery and extremely happy that it took about, I don't know, about 300 pounds off this golf cart. That's one reason it'll scat is because it took so much weight off of it, but it really, really nice. You know, I kind of wish they had had feet on it where you could bolt it down, had all that where you didn't have to, have to uh, chain it down with a ratchet strap, but that's okay. It's not that big a deal. And uh, unless you're looking under the hood, you never know it. Nobody else will ever know it. Uh, well, you'll know it now because I showed you under the hood. But anyway, uh, lead time battery. I am excited, excited about going lithium on this old golf cart. And uh, it's lifted, got big tires. I can go all over the farm in this thing. And I'm loving this. Thank you to lead time for sending me this and uh, for trusting me with, uh, with, with, with a review because it is a dadgum good battery. I love this thing. Thank you. You're going to like it too. And we're gone.